Hello friends, welcome to this video and in this video we'll discuss about the bytecode. So what is bytecode? Bytecode is nothing but the output of our Java program. Okay, so it's not the final output I will say because the final output is something which you will see on the console. And this is the intermediate output of your Java program. Okay, so it is the intermediate output of our Java program. Now this intermediate output that is the bytecode is generated in a file which has the extension dot class. So when we take our dot java file in which we write our java program and when we compile or run our java program you know we generate a dot class file and the bytecode is contained within this dot class file. So as I have said this is the intermediate output which is generated as part of the Java program execution. Now this intermediate output which is the bytecode it is the very highly optimized code and this is then executed by the JVM and it is converted into the machine code which is actually executed on the particular platform whether it be Mac, Linux or Windows. So you need a JVM for that particular specific platform in order to convert your bytecode into the machine code. So we have different JREs available for different platforms. So that is the reason why we say we have to uh, install JRE before uh, running your Java application because it is what converts our byte code into the machine code. So this is the feature of Java which makes it portable. So byte code is the feature which makes it portable and platform independent. Why it makes it platform independent be is because bytecode will be same for all the platforms for all the platforms it will be the same you will generate the same bytecode for windows linux and mac but when you are interpreting your bytecode with the help of jvm you interpret it in a different way for windows for linux and for mac so that interpretation is different for different platforms but you generate the exact same bytecode for all the platforms so the user need not worry about the interpretation part. It will be taken care of by the JRE part. So the user can just focus on writing the actual logic and the actual code and he generates just the byte code which is then interpreted by the respective JRE for that particular platform. So this is what makes the Java language portable. So that's why byte code is referred to as the magic code of Java application. So finally, a bytecode is nothing but the output of the intermediate output of our Java program. So I will show you uh, how this dot class file is generated in the IntelliJ IDE. So this is one of my previous program which I have written in uh, a pr previous video discussion. This is a sample hello application which prints hello on the console. Now in the left pane you can see there is a dot class file. Now this class file was generated when I click the run button. So this is very much needed to actually execute your program because this is the input to your JRE environment that is your JVM because JVM is contained within the JRE and that JVM interprets your bytecode into the machine executable code. So this bytecode is needed for getting executed by the JVM. If you don't have this bytecode then your program will not run. So when I click on this run button, this actually generates this dot class file and you can actually see the output on the console. So this is the dot class file which will be the same for all the platforms. Okay, so that is about the bytecode. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.